You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, there is nothing quite like calling fights here in Rio de Janeiro. I'd imagine for the athletes, nothing quite like making that walk. Here we are back in Brazil once again. This for a Brazilian athletes to see their colors being flown, to see the crowd going crazy every time. There were nights where Brazilian fighters could not lose. They have won 10 fights at times in this arena because they take so much energy from the crowd. Lands a big elbow there. Massive head kick. Big power shot there. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. And there's that elbow blocked by Topuria. Just out of range with that kick attempt. All right, early action here, and a nice job by the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter to close the distance and attain the clinch. He feels like this is a good range at which for him to be fought. Well, John, you recognize that the BJJ fighter wants to be chest to chest so that he can use his trips and everything to try to get this fight to the floor. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to hurt very badly again. Oh, I'm blind as a bat, but it looks like that's a cut. It is. Yeah, you can see a little blood starting to come out there. What a beautiful shot landed. That cut is a point of All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because his gas tank seems to be on the verge of empty. The gas tank is completely empty. All that button mash did you no good. You wasted your energy. You wasted your time. Now it's just a matter of when your opponent decides to finish. So 39 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. High amplitude elbow here, it's blocked. With 90 seconds to go in round one. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body, starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one dimensional, not head hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the goal. Thunderous leg kick grounds his opponent, lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Went for the inside leg kick. Another good stick to the head. Topuri is cut above the eye. Fifteen seconds. 
Oh, the kick landed. Oh. Round two next. Oh. All right, heading back to the corner now, and Topoli is bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Big elbow there, Lance. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Topuria's eye is just mangled. I'm not even sure he can see out of it. I'm surprised they haven't called for the ringside position at this point in the fight. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. All right, the referee has stepped in here as expected. He is going to call in the doctor to look at what is a pretty significant cut that he's dealing with. It's a mess. It's completely a mess, and I'd be very surprised if this fight continues. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only going to get worse. Every time you get hit in it, it just gets worse and worse. He's got to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check, and to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. Oh! Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Elia Emanuel. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. That's going to be some after party tonight. Caution, flammable. Congrats <laughs> to the new UFC featherweight king. When you win that first belt, the after party's always fun. This guy and his family and friends are in for a great time tonight.